Last week, we left you here. Is this the end of Two Aussie Thrifters as we know it? While there's plenty more of that story to share with you in the new year, we want to look back at 2021 and share some of our results, some of our learnings, and share some tips to help you grow your business in 2022. Back at the start of 2021, we set some pretty lofty goals for ourselves this year live on YouTube. The obvious one is turnover goals. That's the one that sort of, you know, is usually at the top of the agenda of this sort of stuff. Start. We're going to set $200,000 as the benchmark again. At a stretch, push that to probably 220. What are some of our other goals this year that we want to achieve to connect more with the community? The main three were a revenue of $200,000 with a stretch goal of $220,000. We wanted to be able to help more people on a one-to-one -one basis and we wanted to be able to connect with you guys more. I guess you'll have to be the judge of whether we achieved that last one. Please leave us a comment below and let us know in 2022 how we can better connect with you. Helping more people on a one-to-one -one basis is something that we really enjoyed doing in 2021. Being able to share some of the lessons we've learned over the time on eBay and providing some motivation for newer resellers is really something that we want to continue into 2022. Goal number four was to hit $200,000 in revenue. And we also set ourselves a stretch goal of $220,000. So let's get into what we actually made in 2021. Our actual revenue was $200,000 and 73,299. Wow. Well done, lad. I'm very happy with that. Um, obviously, we're both full time, so there's a lot of expenses that are involved in that as well. Oh, yeah. Our fees cost us 43,000. Our post cost 46,000. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The cost of goods sold was around 41.3. Other expenses, 11 and a half grand, and our GST paid came to about 13,000. So you can see that all of these little expenses add up. So that left us with $118,000 pre-tax. So obviously you have to take tax away from that. There's a couple of things in there that we haven't included, like our mileage, um, our phones, our internet, all those sorts of things. They are tax deductible, so that's probably not gonna fluctuate a whole lot. After probably everything's said and done, we're probably looking at about $100,000 pre-tax in our pockets, which essentially replaces our full-time job. So you can see that that $273,000, while it is great, it does boil down to a lot less than that in your pocket. Something to consider when you're considering taking this on full-time, but for what we need at the moment, that is more than enough, and the freedom that this has created us has been huge. 100% and I'm really really glad that we've been able to prove to ourselves that we actually can replace our incomes yeah. and have both of us living off of the money that we are making ourselves. Yeah pretty incredible. Part of this video we wanted to give you five tips to help you grow your reselling business in 2022. Tip number one is clearing out that stale old stock that is sitting around taking up your physical space, your mental space and not making you any money. This is something that we're focusing a lot in 2022 as our circumstances are changing and we need way less clutter and a better sell through rate. Tip number two is to diversify and what we mean by that is not only what you're sourcing but where you're sourcing it and the stuff that you actually bring into your store. So try different avenues, try online arbitrage, try garage sales, try op shops and thrift stores obviously but there's plenty of other options create local contacts and networks that will help you grow over time tip number three is to work smarter not harder but we would actually change that to work smarter and harder because this is not a business where you can be lazy so working smarter we are always looking for that higher asp because every single item that you sell you have to photograph you've got to list it you've got to pack it so we want to be selling higher sale price items so that we can make the same amount of money from less items that we have to work through. Tip number four is to learn some new categories. It has been a massive win for us this year. There are so many different categories on eBay that have really good ASB and high sell through. Just a couple examples here are these like 35 millimeter cameras have been great for us this year. And check this one out. We just sold this CB radio today for $500, same day sale. So learn some new categories. We would have never known to pick that up. Learn off people in your area and take advantage of your networks. 
And tip number five is save as much money as you can with postage. Posting is a really overlooked area for somewhere that you can make savings. We highly recommend signing up for Auspost Business so that you get those discounts and know exactly what you're going to ship your item in before you've listed it so that you don't shoot yourself in the foot and have the wrong boxes or mailers available at the time when you post it because you might end up spending too much. And if you're making your own boxes using the My Own Packaging, make sure you're keeping it as small and as light as possible so that you're not spending too much. We hope that those five tips were helpful and that seeing the end result kind of helps to understand what all of our hard work actually boils down to in the end. Yeah, we think it's very important that we share our numbers and the breakdown of those numbers so you guys can understand the work that we put in and whether it's going to be something that's worthwhile for you as well. We are going to be going live on YouTube to kick off the new year and set some goals for the year ahead. So keep an eye out for that. I really hope you'll join us. Yeah, there's going to be some uh, big revelations in that. <laughs> uh, so make sure you join us for that live and we will see you next time on Toilet Thrifters. Happy Bye for New now. Year! While there's plenty more of that story to share with you, we want to look back at 2020... 2020... 2020... <laughs> five save as much money as you can in postage this oh i'm gonna say underlooked 